I've still got lots to learn, so I'm off to try a traditional Christmas dish that I hear tastes much better than it smells. Now, trust me, I want to get the best of Christopher, and I'm up here to meet two guys who make this amazing delicacy that can only be found here. First of all, I'm excited to see and taste this incredible delicacy, and it's rockfish. Rockfisk. 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 Fisk. Fisk. Rockfisk. 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 Rockfish, no. Rockfisk. Rockfisk. OK. After what seems like hours of saying the same thing back and forth, Arnstein and his nephew Magnus show me how they make the crown jewel of their family business, fermented fish. Why oh, smell? No, it's strong. Is that normal, that strong? Yeah. Trout, and what is that one there? This is Arctic char. Arctic char. And how long do you cure it for? It's in for three months. Bloody hell. So you pack it with salt? Yeah. And then? Sugar as well. Sugar. So it cures it? Yeah, exactly. And how old is this method? Dates back to the Viking age. Now it's more popular than ever. Shall we? First, you put salt in the belly, gotcha. like this. And you just put them in the bucket. And then it's heads, tails, head, tails, all the way through. Opposite? Yeah. And because... you build? Exactly. Sounds pretty straightforward, or so I thought. But the Rackfisk master mm. is not impressed. Mm. Too much? Too much. Too much? Yes. Less salt. How's that one, Uncle? Ah, good. Good? Thank God for that. I've never seen this method before like this. It's only here in Rörus here. and uh, Valdres. So it literally is indigenous to this area? It is. We're very and proud. It's very popular, especially around Christmas. Oh, no, 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 no. Little more. Little more. You have to use your wrist. Nay, 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 nay. So. That's it? Perfect. Man, your uncle's amazing. Do you ever upset him? Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> He's better. Good. Good, better. He's happy now. He's been a little bit tough on me. Yeah, have been for, with me for 10 years as well. He's, he's a proper <laughs> Viking. I'm dying to taste it. Perfect. Oh, there it is there. Outer remotes. Wow, that's it there. Yeah, it's that's strong. It's a cross between a sort of cured salmon, but with a vacheran cheese. It was so strong, very acidic. Yeah. This is not very strong. That's not very strong? No. Let's try a stronger one. No, stop it. Let's really? try. Yeah, Stronger let's, than that? Let's try our special Christmas batch. Bloody hell. I'm worried that special, in this case, is not a good thing. So what's special about this batch? We have had it in the barrel for a longer amount of time. Now, oh my god, the smell of that. Bloody hell. It doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> the smell gets stronger the farther down the, bu the bucket you go. Bloody hell. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my god. This is sticky as <laughs> the <laughs> You don't eat this, do you? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you like that smell? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Just look at the juice, the color of the juice. That's the right texture. Can you, can you cut that, <laughs> Is this a joke? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. It's like putty. Why is this so a special, rare delicacy when it stinks? You should not think about the smell. It's the flavor. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the right texture. 